Good morning. We're here at Pete's Preserve in at Lake Sumter State Co College um, in Leesburg, Florida. And today we're going to search for insects. Now, as I told you before, insects have three body parts. They have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Okay, hopefully you can hear some of the sounds that I'm beginning to hear as we walk into the preserve. I'm hoping that I can hear some birds. I'm hoping that we'll hear some cicadas in a little bit. And I'm hoping to find some interesting creatures to, to show you um, as we speak about insects and their role in our environment. So there's another one of our flies that we were just looking at. It's on his back. It's not very big. A little bit bigger than a mosquito. There we go. Now we focused in. Okay, just one of the many type of flying insects. And these leaves holes that have been chewed out. So some type of an insect has been making dinner of this particular plant. Could be a moth or a caterpillar, um, some type of animal larva. This one is good evidence here. That I don't know that how much we'll find. Lots of nice, dark, damp spaces. Ants are um, one of the most common insects that we see. He's actually on his back right now. I'm gonna pause this and try and get him into my container. Okay, so here we have a beautiful beetle. I'm gonna get focused in on him. Here's his head and his thorax and abdomen. So here he is from the underside. He's turned over on his back. Some nice pinchers there. And he's actually missing a leg, it looks like. So he does only have five legs, but there are six there all together. So he is beautiful. We'll try and identify him. When we get home, we'll talk a little bit more about him then. So now I put the beetle back in his home. And this insect probably relies on the wood of the, the decomposing plants, um, possibly roots. Like I said, we'll have to look him up and see exactly what he is, but we're going to turn his home back over and let him bury back down into his home there. Bye bye beetle. This, I'm hoping you can see her, is a gorgeous example of a writing spider. This is Charlotte, like Charlotte's web. She is a garden spider. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. Beautiful. Zebra wing. Okay, this is, prob this is probably one of the reasons why we're seeing so many beautiful butterflies. Um, this tree, and I'm not quite sure what kind of fruits these are, um, but again, that's going to attract insects and birds as well. Those are insects and things that are down in the water, larvae that um, need the water to um, complete the life cycle of the insect. Most insects have an egg and then a larval form. 
and then also um, a nymph and an adult form. Most insects go through that life cycle. When we talk about caterpillars and butterflies, they start out as an egg and then venture into, once they um, hatch out of the egg, they're caterpillars, they eat and eat and eat. Um, speaking of butterflies, there's a nice beautiful zebra wing down there. The stripe there in the, on the branch, you can see its wings moving just a little bit. Again, the, the caterpillars will eat for several weeks and then they will form a chrysalis. And once the chrysalis is formed, they're usually in the chrysalis anywhere from six to eight days, maybe longer, maybe shorter, depending on the species. And then they emerge as a butterfly. So they go through three different, four different stages in their life.